Well, thank you very much, Kushla Adams. Really much appreciated. And of course, right now, it's that time. My favorite time of the week. We know that every single second of every single day, our news feeds are swamped with headlines from across the globe. And sometimes it's a little hard to tell what's real and what's not. So it's time to put our panel to the test with another round of fake news. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wow, we've got reports coming from all over the world right now, I can tell you that. So I'm going to be reading to our panel two headlines, mm -hmm. but one is real and the other is fake, and all they need to do is tell me which one is fake. And perhaps you can try it out at home as well mm -hmm. and see if you can tell the real from the fake. Right. Panelists, are you ready? Yes. Yes, we are. Brains tuned in? Yeah. Yes, we Here are. Here we go. Oh, I'm wait, oh wait. yes. Hey, th thank you very much. Uh, the story of the day, uh, African rain frogs look like little angry avocados. Oh, Lerato, you have another story. Thank you very much. A new species of spider with 20 legs has been discovered here in the Western Cape. Which one is real? Which one is fake? I, uh, the avocado frogs are cute, so I'm going to go with them as being real and a spider with 20 legs. That's impossible. Yeah, I'm also going to go with that one. It's fake. Like 20 legs? Are you what crazy? are we doing? Why? Well... The black rain frog does, in fact, look like an angry avocado, and you have to see it to believe it. Take a look at that. Looks grumpy, like it's been aging for 55 days too long. In fact, the black rain frog, of course, is found in the southern slopes of the Cape Fold Belt in South Africa and can survive elevations as high as 3,000 feet. And don't despair. It's not that the frogs are sad, guys. They just have a resting amphibian face. <laughs> ah, Lerato, yes. Thank you very much for that report. Another story has come in, guys. Police have discovered cocaine smuggled inside coffee beans. What is this world turning to? Lerato, another story. Yes, the world's strongest coffee can keep you awake for 28 hours straight with just one cup. Which one is real? Which one is fake? Or are they part of the same story and the, and the strong like coffee keeps you awake for 20 hours straight because it's got coffee? cocaine in it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'm going to go with the first one. Seems like a lot of effort. So I'm going to say that's fake. I'm going to say the world's strongest coffee because I like the idea of that. Keeps you awake for, for 20 minutes. I'm going to switch hours. it around because I feel like somewhere some Crafty, some person is dodgy. opening a coffee bean and putting cocaine inside. So, yeah. Well, it turns out we shouldn't be surprised at the lengths to which drug dealers will wow, go. Really? Because wow. the Italian police did, in fact, cease two kilograms of coffee beans that were filled with cocaine. But wow. But in worse. good news, a 50-year-old Italian was arrested and jailed for the bust. And yes, he stayed awake for 28 hours after <laughs> drinking a grind of his own. Coffee. He never slept. He never slept again. <laughs> oh, Lerato. Oh, thank you. You surprised me there. Uh, uh, yeah. Another story from Lerato. A woman was shocked to find a wild baboon to be the culprit sleeping in her guest room. <sighs> Lerato, another story has just come in. A Cape Cobra enjoys bath time in a Worcester home. Which story is real? Which one is fake? I'm, I'm going to say that the monkey story is true because I want it to be true. I really want someone to wake up and find a gigantic baboon in their bed. Really? Yeah, really? Oh, that would be, Why? That would be just th terrifying and hilarious. <laughs> so. Sam, okay. Sophia, imagine like going into your bathroom and seeing this Cape Cobra just like... And they're aggressive <laughs> and they're a lot bigger than you think, eh? So, which one is real, which one is fake? The first one is real, the, the second one. The monkey is one. real, the snake is fake. Well, South Africa never disappoints, as the Cape Cobra did, in fact, take a warm bath. Now, take that. a look at this clip. Snake catcher Andre Dupria of Silver Fox Snake Rescues shares that they recently rescued a Cape Cobra, get this, almost 1.8 meters in length. Now, the snake oh was found gosh. inside a pipe at a construction site, and Debris explains that the Cape Cobra was incredibly cold. So he took it home, he drew a lukewarm bath to just heat it up, he just to give it a nice snake. time. He bathed the snake. Maybe gave him a bit of a scrub as well. We don't know, okay? But he says he will keep the snake with him through the cold winter months until she has had enough to eat and is feeling healthy and strong enough to be released at a nearby farm. And until then, Check your Look, bots before I, it's you... It's a bit romantic. Oh he's like, goodness. he's going this man doesn't have bath her. <sighs> he's feeding her. This man oh, doesn't... He's looking after her. Please tell him that we will be his friends because why are you taking a bath? Did the, did the snake come up to him like, hey, like, listen, I just want to take no, a bath. apparently the, the snake's <laughs> first words were... Splash, splash, <laughs> taking bath. <laughs> no, don't do it. 
Well, I guess I if still, you I still reckon somewhere a monkey has gotten into someone's <laughs> house and got into the tent. I'm, I'm so there you have it, from the wild, the wacky, and downright weird around the world. See you next time for another round of fake news. Thank you, Lorata. Thank you. Lorata, thank you. You've been amazing. Okay. <laughs>